Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Melissa Morell and I'm a personal stylist for the everyday woman. And yes, that is a Christmas treat behind me. And yes, it is only November. So I'm sorry, but I'm not sorry for starting Christmas early because if you don't buy your Christmas outfits early, all of the good bits do go. So all of the bits that you see on influencers on Instagram or on these YouTube channels, they will be sold out by probably very early on in December. So I have split these videos up into two parts. Today's video is out in the shops where I found so many gorgeous, lovely pieces. And then the following week's episode, I am filming here in the studio, showcasing all the bits that I found online. So without further ado, I will pass you over to myself in the shops and I hope you enjoy it. Hi guys, so I am in Zara right now. I just thought I would show you my own outfit before I start trying others on. I've got some black leather trousers on from So Sander some really old black boots from shoe always make sure that they're tight around the ankle if you're going to wear them with a crop trouser like that this jacket is from marks and spencers you may have seen it in another video of mine and then i'm wearing a monaco vinader necklace a madura necklace and my rings and bracelet as well i don't know if you can see that it's also from monica vinader okay, as so the well. first thing i've tried on we've had success these are some black velvet trousers so for christmas the velvet is always really really lovely and i've paired them with what can only be described as plastic shoes <laughs> which doesn't sound the best does it you can see right the way through they are literally plastic they felt a little bit odd at first but actually I think they're really effective when you look at it as an entire outfit and all I've got on at the moment is my own lily silk jumper this is a cashmere jumper I do have a lily silk code for you at the moment I'll put it up on the screen now and I think it's for 12% and their jumpers and their cashmeres are just lovely but you can probably see in my hand I have got this really lovely sparkly cardigan I'll just turn around there see if the lighting is any better for you there it is with the little cardigan on which I say has got a little bit of glitter in it's really thick now all I'd say can you see at the moment it looks like my shoulders are really really broad but I think what's happening is it just needs a bit of an eye and it's where it's been on the coat hanger and it's sticking out that would be a really nice relaxed Christmas outfit definitely a good first one from Zara I'm wearing a small in the trousers my jumper from Lily Silk is in a medium I think but I will double check that and I'll link the right one and I've got the cardigan on at the moment in a medium as well because I wanted it slightly oversized so all I have done now is I have swapped the cardigan up for more of a formal blazer it's got this lovely fleck of sort of golden silver running through it so it makes it really really nice for Christmas and I've kept it on with the same top in fact you're going to see this all day today because I forgot to put the top underneath it so my bad from a styling point of view usually I'd put like a little white t-shirt or something but I haven't got anything on me today so that's why everything will be paired with that kept the same shoes on and that's a really nice way of making that outfit a little bit more elevated should you need it to be but equally you could put this sort of blazer with some jeans or the leather trousers would look really nice as well so another alternative on the blazer for you this is a black tuxedo type blazer double breasted they do do the single breasted one they just don't have it in on my size but this is beautiful it is $79.99 and I've got it on in a medium because I don't want it too fitted on me but yeah another really really nice way of finishing just a simple outfit up oh my goodness this dress is gorgeous and it's going to suit so many people I'm hoping that it's coming across on the camera of actually how nice it is as you can see it's got this lovely pattern down I've got it paired with these boots these are also obviously from Zara now I'm usually a size 4 in 
shoes but I'm having to have a size 5 in these so they obviously come up a little bit smaller. As you can see it's got a split at the side of the dress. If I focus you here on the tummy area it's got some side pleats here and then it's also almost got like a drop waistline on half of it. That tends to be very very effective at skimming over a larger tummy. So as long as you can cope with the higher neck and your bust isn't too big, although you could wear a necklace down the middle there, but I think it's a brilliant dress for a nice Christmas day type of outfit. It's got the tucks in the shoulders, which is helping to balance out my hips. I don't know the prices, but everything will be linked on the Moon Sift board for you where you can see everything all in the same place from today's shopping. Okay, so I'm in danger of having a huge wardrobe malfunction right now because I I wanted to show you this gorgeous little cardigan but I don't have an appropriate top to go underneath it so I'm that's why I'm holding it here but this is really really lovely I've picked it up in a size small and I would definitely definitely go for a medium for more of an oversized type of look and just thinking about it you could just put a little pin in a cardigan like that to perhaps hide your belly as well, maybe two pins, and then it becomes like a jumper and you don't need anything underneath it. And it actually looks really quite nice with sort of the decolletage area there showing a little bit. I would just increase the size so it just felt a little bit more bigger and baggier. The fabric is beautiful on it. Might be a little bit itchy, it's not itching me right now, but I think and I've got it on with some lovely crepe black trousers. That was crepe, not another word. You can tell I'm getting more confident and naughty on these videos. <laughs> I don't know if you can really tell the shape of the trousers. I've just popped them on with the same shoes that I had on before, but they're gorgeously high-waisted. I'm wearing them in a size small, they're £32.99 and I think for £32.99 they're going to be really worth the investment over the Christmas time. And something that actually makes my legs look long. <laughs> Winner! I know this isn't going to be for everyone but I love it. The feathers, really simple black blouse paired with those same high-waisted black trousers but the feathers on the cuff here just make this outfit go bing. So yeah, really, really like that. Such a simple design effect really, but actually looks quite different and quite out there. But feathers you've probably seen are everywhere. But if you wear it like this as well with a high-waisted trouser and tuck it in there, you're going to get a jumpsuit type of effect and quite a striking jumpsuit, I would say. But for those of you who worry about going to the toilet in a full jumpsuit, then this is the great answer. Create your own jumpsuit instead. Now I have just noticed that the cuffs are actually removable. However, the top itself is 89 pounds. And if you're going to remove the cuffs, all you've got is a black V-neck blouse. So I wouldn't recommend it if that's what you're intending to do. I would buy this with the feathers on for that sort of wow type of top. And next we've got this really beautiful knotted silk cami dress. And this is where jewellery really comes into its own because if I didn't have that jewellery on, let me just see if I can hide it. It would be quite block-like all here. And you only need a little bit of jewellery there to completely break up that area. I'm wearing this in a size small today. I'd say it's a little bit clipping on my thighs there, but generally everywhere else it feels really, really nice. But I think it would, I, mean, I always have that problem anyway, so I just kind of have to stretch it out a little bit but a really nice dress navy is very very big at the moment and that's 49.99 and i'm still in so i've had to put my hair back for this one because as you can see it is i don't know what is it it's a um, fluffy chiffon -y, can can skirt rah rah everything but on top i I think I like it. I'm trying to make my mind up. I think with these trousers, it's quite flattering. So the trousers are there, and then this top isn't too long. 
but it isn't cropped that it shows your belly either so it's just to come in at your smallest point there perhaps you can get a better feel for it there it's often very flattering for a lady to show this shoulder area if the shoulder area is still quite structured if you find that your shoulders have massively slumped there or what I see a lot is where the bra strap has dented in the skin there then I probably would stay clear of a top like this but if you have still got sort of good shoulder structure there then that can be very flattering and it can hide a multitude of sins under there. Or well, something else to show you is I have found an alternative pair of shoes. So they look virtually exactly the same, same ones as I was showing you earlier on. But actually they feel slightly nicer quality. And whilst they are still plasticky, they don't feel quite as plasticky as the other ones. And the heel is slightly lower. I think a pair of shoes like that over the winter time could be really, really useful. They just go with absolutely everything, whether you're wearing black or whether you're going more for your winter wipes and your creams and your neutrals, then a shoe like that is going to be really, really good in your wardrobe. So yeah, verdict out on this top. Not sure where I would wear it in all honesty. I'd probably put it on to film it for you guys and then never go anywhere to wear it after that. But it's quite nice. So I'm in mint velvet now and this is a really lovely way of doing sort of relaxed glamour as they say here in mint velvet which is a gorgeous pleated skirt it's actually like a dark green colour it feels really nice and heavy and I've paired it with just some of their cowboy boots and then this really nice jumper and I think that's a nice way of doing sort of Christmas day casual but there's no reason why you couldn't pair this with a really nice camisole and a nice blazer and then you could really easily elevate that up for the evening but this jumper's beautiful as well it's got a bit of a gold stripe running through it so it gives it that Christmassy feel but still you could wear that all year round with a pair of jeans and it would look really nice as well. And something a little bit different here, a pattern dress. Now I think this would look lovely if you picked up on this darker brown here, more like a deep tan colour and wore some really long tan heeled boots. These boots seem to sort of fade into the background a little bit with this dress but I think the dress in itself is really lovely, great for work, great for any sort of event where you just need to elevate it that little bit. The sleeves are lovely, it's kind of like a balloon sleeve there. It fits really nicely under here and then flares out. I'm wearing a UK 8 in it at the moment and yeah something a little bit different but actually I really like it. Okay, so I am now in Oliver Bonas and I'm trying on this navy and gold dress. Excuse the toes out. There's no shoes to try on with this dress in the store. So I'd say size down by one or at least two sizes. I'm anywhere between an eight and a 10. But in a dress like this, I suppose I would go down to an eight because there's lots of room around my hip. So I'd perhaps say size down by at least one size if you're in between sizes. It is really lovely. I'm not sure that the lighting is going to pick this up. And as you can see, I can't stand any further back in order to get the full picture, but I'll put a picture at the side of me of what the full look looked like. But if I come closer here, then you should be able to see the fabric and the pattern on the dress. It's like a drop waist here, which again is very flattering if you've got a big tummy because it just skims over the tummy and then like a three tiered skirt down here. The sort that would look just as nice with a little pair of, well, even like, it's going to sound funny, but even like fluffy slippers during the day on Christmas Day, it would look nice. But equally, put some nice long boots or some short ankle boots or even some sort of um, little kitten heel. And again, it would look really nice. So yeah, a really nice buy. So everything will be linked as always. I'm just showing you this jumper because 
you know I love pink and this is just gorgeous and I've actually sized up in this jumper so I'm wearing a size UK 14 because I didn't want it kind of fitting like that and that's how the size 8 or the 10 would have fitted on me. I wanted it a lot sort of bigger and baggier and I like how that is causing the sleeves to be quite oversized as well because that's what's keeping it looking kind of young and fresh. So just be careful on your sizing on your jumpers. Okay so I am now in Mango. The music is incredibly loud so I'm sorry if you can't hear me so just look at the images if you can't hear me. So I've got on this really nice black and beige cardigan. It is not itchy at all. So often the wool based cardigans can be really itchy but this is a, it feels really really nice. I just like the oversized nature of it. I'm actually wearing a size small at the moment. And as you can see I've just picked some heels to put with it just because they were the only shoes I could find at the last moment but that is a great way of elevating an outfit so taking a cardigan like an oversized cardigan big knit like this pairing it with some leathers and then a little heel it doesn't need to be one as high as that just a little kitten heel would work for me or a sock boot and that would look really really nice but what you're aiming to do is mix your fabric so it's the chunky relaxed nature of the jumper mixed with the leather that is going to make it work okay so next we've got a gorgeous green slip dress they're not easy to wear to be totally honest with you but usually it means you've got quite a good chest and the dress can just skim over your thighs so if you're actually a rectangle and you're lacking a little bit of shape a dress like this actually will give you some really nice shape but it's gorgeous it feels beautiful i've just got them on with these black heels from mango uh, it's beautiful at the back as well i turn around for you to see that it kind of feels very nice and very glamorous but do remember if you haven't got anywhere nice to go or like that dressy then all you do not necessarily this black and white one maybe like a nice cream one or something you just put it over the dress like that and it makes it incredibly wearable for the daytime you would just change those shoes and put more of a you know you could wear a chunky boot you could wear a little cowboy boot you could actually wear anything with this type of dress and, and so just think about how versatile a dress like this can be and you'll get a lot more wears out of it rather than waiting for that one special event so next up we've got this really nice relaxed jumper dress i've just got it on with some little brown cowboy boots You'll notice with all the boots that I always pick up, apart from the fact that these are huge, they're always tight around the ankle. That's your key to looking nice in a cowboy boot or a sock boot. Okay, so as you can see, it, I don't know if I can get far enough back, there we go. It's just a massive big jumper dress, but it's got a really nice pattern running through it. And also I'd see it working really nicely with a belt. So you can see how the shape is coming in just like that. And then maybe some nice long brown boots would look really nice. The neckline I think is really nice on it. So yeah, I could see me getting a lot of wear out of that. You could eat your Christmas dinner and nobody's going to be any the wiser of what's going on underneath that. Or you could make it, like I say, a lot smarter with a belt around. Next up, we've got a really classic, timeless jumpsuit. It's got shoulder pads in already, so it's giving that strong shoulder. Goes into a tapered leg slightly too long on me I've had to kind of pull it up a little bit but as long as you're wearing them with a shoe that shows all of the front of your foot then you can get away with that sort of longer length but I like to put it more at my ankle length but it's almost like a little tuxedo style really really nice I've actually got it on in a size medium and I would say that the trousers are fitting really well, but the top is quite roomy. So usually I would be a small in mango, but it's obviously coming in slightly tighter on the thighs. But another good choice, especially with those shoulder pads, 
that are already in the shoulders for you and then create you can see how that shoulder there is making my waist look smaller because it's creating volume on top and then it's going out for my hips and remember that's all we're trying to do is recreate that hourglass shape whatever shape you are to begin with you just want to try and put your figure back into that shape and then the clothes will look the nicest that they can on you so there we go another one for so next we've got these green crinkly trousers again i'm in mango they're very long i've got them on with those black heels at the moment so if you're short like me you would need to take them up but what i wanted to show you with this outfit so for christmas if you think about wearing at any one time either sequins sparkle velvet or just some sort of silky elevated fabric then mixing it with a chunky jumper or something a lot more casual you still get that christmas feel but it's in a lot more of a casual way this to me would be like a christmas day type of outfit if i was pop into my in-laws so you've got a little bit of the plushness down the bottom but it's very very casual at the same time this jumper by the way is really really lovely i struggle to find a nice cream jumper with a nice neckline and there is one from reese that i'm wearing a lot at the moment but it is very expensive where this one it's got kind of like a diagonal pattern i'm not sure if you can see that with the light and i'll just show you that jumper out so you can see it's actually quite long there we go all I've done is tucked it in. If you think you're going to get a bit of a bulge here from tucking in, then just tuck it into your bra strap like that, and then you won't get any of that front bulge from it either. But this one isn't so big that it, you probably need to do that. It's just hanging quite nicely anyway. And just before I leave Mango, I just wanted to show you that I've just picked up this really, really nice checkered blazer. I've just put it on with my leathers and I've kept these huge boots on. They <laughs> look, I can literally shake them off. Uh, that cream jumper goes beautifully with a blazer like this and the combination of the knitwear with the leather with the suede with the checked all goes to making a really nice outfit and equally this is somebody's christmas day outfit just like something sparkly or silky is so hopefully something for everyone here Okay, so I am in River Island now and I've just tried on this bright pink velvet suit. Now, I do love the colour. The trousers are actually really quite wide all the way down and I feel on my small frame they make me look a little bit shorter and stubbier. Unfortunately, because of the small nature of the changing room, I can't get all the way back to show you the full picture, but I'll take a picture vertically and we'll show it you like that. But I absolutely love it. I just wish the trousers were a little bit more tailored on me, but if you are taller, then I think they would be amazing. So it's this amazingly bright pink, almost like a salmon-y pink maybe. So can you see how they're quite wide all the way down? And because the jacket's long as well, I feel quite short in it. But it is a really, really lovely suit. Definitely would be good for somebody. And do remember that you don't have to put these two pieces together. So you could just wear it like that, which is just a white little camisole, or it could be a white jumper, or just something simple to go with the trousers rather than the entire suit. So think about mix and matching to relate to your lifestyle. Okay, something very, very different now. I'm not sure whether I look like a jazzy bird or whether this looks quite nice so some long high-rise black tailored trousers which are really nice actually really really lovely shape and then this mad it is cropped as you can see but because of the feather bottom then you can't see the cropped and then if your waist goes in quite nicely you get a nice kick out but yeah it's a little bit jazzy isn't it um, I'm not sure it's for me and I've just noticed that I've left a trail of feathers behind me. But do you know what? It is really fun actually. 
just wish I had the confidence to wear something like that, but maybe somebody else has. Okay, so so we've it down slightly. Still sparkly and jazzy. This is quite sweet. It's just a little bit different. All this sort of tassel, feathers, all the embellishments on shoes, things like that are really, really big this season. And I've just put that with those same black trousers. So yeah, quite a nice, quite different top. It allows you to get some sort of shape going on here if you're quite block-like through the middle. Then this line going up here and down there is going to help create a waist for you. I've gone up a size in this, so this is a size 12. And it's got shoulder pads in as well, which is giving some nice strong structure on the shoulders. So a nice choice for somebody. So bringing it back to the reality of most of us and just putting on this fluffy little top. The fluffiness in the jumper will elevate the look. It's just got these lovely little diamante buttons on it. And I've just paired it with those long black trousers, some long navy trousers would look really nice with this as well. And if you want to create an even longer leg look, then you could just tuck it in like that or it's got a nice waistband on it so you could just leave it out like that but that's really sweet it's got three quarter sleeves it's got some gathers here in the sleeve which is going to help and that's probably a more realistic level for the type of places that I go these days rather than the sparkly numbers. So I just picked this up in the petite section and I think it's just beautiful, a really simple, easy to wear dress. You could put it with boots. I've just picked up these heels to show you now. But in the petite section, you can see where it comes on me, just above my ankle. Super comfy to wear. I absolutely love the sleeves. It's details like that that I look for that make a dress stand out. So, and guess what, ladies? It's got pockets. love a pocket makes it even better so a good one and the fact that it comes in petite tall regular and then goes up to sizes 26 i think they do in river island then that would be a huge advantage for many people. So that's it for today's video. I hope you found some things there that you really like. Remember part two is coming next week with me showcasing stuff that I bought online and I'll be showcasing that here in the studio. But if you have enjoyed the video today and you could press that subscribe button, I would be most grateful. And please do remember that everything you've seen is linked and these days you only have to press the one link and it will take you to a lovely board where everything will be right in front of you and you can just choose from the pictures the items that you want to learn more about so thank you and i will see you next week bye bye